Get ready for the NBA on 2K Sports. Thanks for spending your Saturday afternoon with us. Here with the greats, Richard Jefferson and Grant Hill. I'm Brian Anderson and Allie LaForce, our reporter. Allie, take it away. Well, Anthony Davis grew up in Chicago during the Jordan years, so is that why he wears number 23? He said, quote, I wore number three in grade school. In high school, I asked for that number. Coach said, you'll get whatever I give you out of this bag. He grabbed out a jersey and threw it to me, and it was number 23. Guys, AD said that'll work. No doubt. Good stuff, Allie. Thanks. And the Lakers starting five. We've got Davis, Jared Vanderbilt out there with LeBron James. Then it's D'Angelo Russell, and it's Reeves in at the two spot. And for the Grizzlies, Bain and Brooks out on the wing. Jackson out there with Xavier Tillman. And it's Morant in at the point guard position. And we're expecting an intense battle in the front court tonight, Grant. Both teams with a lot of talent in those positions. You know, B.A., it'll be an interesting matchup here with the talent and size of their front court. It should make this game extra challenging for these squads. They can't just count on being the dominant force down low. They'll have to get a little creative. Here's James. Pass to Russell. To the middle. Here's Reeves. That falls. Austin nice Reeves. assist by Russell. Austin. And this is exactly how Leandro Russell Russell. does solid assist numbers. I mean, just great delivery on that play. On the wing, Bain. Back to Moran. Here's Jackson. He can't get it to go. And Los Angeles the other way now. And Anthony Davis on the NBA's top 75 list. Grant, do you think that was a controversial selection? Well, I mean, it was mostly due to how young Davis still is. You can't argue with the all-NBA selection and numbers. And, of course, being a recent champion may have put him over the top. And the Grizzlies with possession here. After the Lakers picking up a basket just moments ago. And the foul is called. He missed it. So he's got a couple of free throws coming his way. It's on LeBron James. I mean, during his first playoffs, Dylan Brooks proved he was a big game player. Going in 31 in his playoff debut. An upset win over Utah. First one falls. You know, talking about Dylan Brooks, also great in those first ever play-in games, Grant. Yeah, B.A., I mean, the Grizzlies making the playoffs, winning two games. Brooks was outstanding in a win at Golden State, locking down the Warriors on the perimeter. And he makes both free throws. Just over a minute played here to start the game. Pass to Reeves. Russell against Moran. Outside Vanderbilt. Here's Davis. James outside. Just five to shoot. And the call will be against Jaron Jackson. That's his first foul of the game. Personal foul. First team foul. There's 138 left in the first quarter of the game. Russell against Moran. Good work there as it goes. Inside the paint, Russell stays so nimble, helping him get such a high percentage look. And that streaking rack attack is the mobile one drive. Yeah, he made that drive look easy, but that had a high degree of difficulty. Now here's Bain. Pass to Jackson. Over Vanderbilt. Misses off the left iron. Not that time, but that's a shot that he's going to make more often times than not. And we've heard LeBron James say he's obsessed with win or bust. And this Lakers franchise certainly has that same approach. But aside from their 2020 title, there's been a lot of frustration. Now, can he and the Lakers get back where they expect to be? James, that LeBron shot's good. James. Russell making the play. 
Look, the, the moment he gets it anywhere near the hoop, look, it is over. Just too much strength, too much touch, either hand. Now here's Payne. First quarter of ball, almost two and a half minutes in. Releases. And again, Memphis no good. The Lakers in the lead. Here's Reeves. Pass to James. Inside. Here's Russell. Lays it up and banks it in. High IQ pass by LeBron. He reads the floor and gets it to the open shooter. For Memphis, they've gone 0 for 4, missing their first four attempts. Here's Morant. That shot off. Good work defensively by Russell. The open shot by James. And too long on the shot. And unlike some other guys, missing a wide open look won't hurt his confidence at all. And so it's Los Angeles finishing the quarter with an eight point lead. Their key to consistency has been their dominance in the paint. They've been the more physical team. And more NBA action on 2K Sports coming your way right after this. Hope you've enjoyed the broadcast so far. Halfway through the first half in this one. All right, guys, let's get your take on the scoring breakdown for the Lakers. You know, Grant, sometimes with certain flagrant fouls, you'll hear people say it was a dirty play, but not a dirty player. But when does it become both? Well, we all understand, B.A., dirty plays aren't good for the game. But sometimes a flagrant foul will happen. A lot of times, though, you have to factor in a pattern of behavior. I really believe players who have a history of being called for a lot of flagrant fouls plays a big role in how it's perceived. They've got Tyus Jones. He's out there with Luke Kennard. John Conchar is out there with Jaron Jackson. And it's Aldama in at the power forward. That's the group for Memphis to kick off the second quarter. Taking two shots. That free throw, no good. When it comes to the Grizzlies, a lot of this season is about erasing the memory of their playoff loss last year. It was a disappointing end to their season. He hits the second from the line. But with Memphis's 2021-2022 season, it still has to be considered a success, right? Yeah, I think it was a successful season. But as a whole, this young team, they won their division. But the hopes were so much higher going into the postseason than just the second round. James passes to Achimura. And he got the whistle on the way up. So he'll be headed to the line for a pair. You can't block it. Sending him to the line can be the next best thing. If you look at the history of the Lakers, they've always had elite big men. That tradition goes all the way back to George Mikan in the 40s. Then they had Will Chamberlain, Kareem, and then obviously we know what Shaq was able to do there. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. Throw good, Hachimura. The Los Angeles Lakers, home to some of the greatest bigs of all time, Richard. Yeah, Wilt, Kareem, Shaq, Pau Gasol. The Lake Show winning titles with those large dudes, proving that size does matter in this league. Second free throw, no good. Memphis trailing here. Kennard outside.
Outside Jones. Let's it go from deep. Knocks it down from distance. He made the most of that opening, teaching the defense a lesson. Just over a minute gone here in the second quarter. Beasley outside. Back to Schroeder. Pass to James. Altama grabs the board. And here's Memphis now. They've only given up one point in the second quarter. That one coming at the line. Kennard with it. Up top, Jackson. That one's off. He's 0 for 3 now. And the Lakers with possession here. Leading by five. When we evaluate players, one thing that gets overlooked, age. Take Jaron Jackson Jr. He was only 18 when he got drafted in 2018. Beasley, pass to Schroeder, five to shoot. From deep. Here's Bamba. And there's two. Work on the glass, paying off that time. Bamba's got his first points of the game. Second chance points are always painful. Have to make the effort to box out. Yeah, I'm going to go out on a limb here and say they need to emphasize rebounding going forward. Jackson can't get it to go. The Lakers have gone just one of three to begin the second quarter. Beasley for three. Always a nice way to start. Makes his first one. And just totally relentless. Only increasing the intensity level. Always plays hard until the final whistle, no matter what the situation is. Pass to Jackson. Here's Conchar. The three is up. Not going to go that time. And they can run out the clock here. No need to rush it. Yeah, you don't have to be quick. You just have to be deliberate. James, outside. Oh, and Jackson with the block. Putting that 7-5 wingspan to use Jackson with great timing on the rejection. And that shot was going nowhere thanks to that aggressive swat. Oh, now that was a block. Some much-needed energy there to jumpstart them back into this game. Substitution on the court. Here's Reeves. And again, no good by the Lakers. And so it's Los Angeles burning this break in the action. Up 10. What has them in front right now? By and large, they're taking great shots. We'll be right back. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hello, basketball fans. What a pleasure it is to bring you into the 2K studios again. Ernie Johnson, Shaquille O'Neal, Kenny the Jet Smith. It was all about the Lakers as the game got going. They did it just the way it was drawn up in the locker room, starting out on a 10-2 run. When the clock ran out in the first quarter, they were up by eight. In the second quarter, they faced a much tougher challenge, but they intensified their efforts and pulled further ahead, finishing 10 points up at the half. And taking a look at the Lakers, Shaq, what you think? Well, they've shown a lot of discipline on the offensive end. It's not about getting the quick shots, it's about getting the quick shots. And if you want to know how that approach is working, just check out their field goal percentage. How about you, Kenny? What do you think about Memphis? Obviously, that was U-G-L-Y. It's ugly. Shooting under 30% from the field, disorganized. Chucking up bad shots. Man, I tell you, they have to adjust their play, and they got to get better look. And that'll do it for us. The third quarter about to begin with Kevin Harlan standing by. We'll catch you on the flip side, my brother. On your feet, man. And we've got third quarter basketball here. Two quarters in the books. And so in the game for the Lakers, we've got LeBron James, Davis out there with Jared Vanderbilt. Then it's D'Angelo Russell, and it's Reeves in at the two. Jackson can't get it to go. 
And for Los Angeles, their shooting has been good. 54% on this one. The three is up. Nails it from beyond the arc. Five points in the game. On offense, Davis keeps his head up and maintains awareness. That's how he spots a wide open man. And it goes. As the official calls the foul, count it, and he'll shoot one more at the line. First personal foul. First team foul. At the line for your Grizzlies, Desmond Bennett. Shooting one. Here's Russell. Pass to Reeves. Now James. And the bucket counts. And he is on his way to the line. He'll try to make it a three-point play. At the line for the Lakers, LeBron James. At the line for one. Free throw, good from James. LeBron James going to the free throw line. Let's just say it's not his most accurate of positions, but hey, even players like him got to have things that need to work on. Now here's Brooks. Back to Bain. Two minutes remaining in the third. Pass to Jackson. Six on the shot clock. Over Vanderbilt. Rebound, the Lakers. And he felt like he needed a little bit more space with the fade to get off his shot, but that might have been what threw him off and made him miss. And Davis slams it home. And it's just so beautiful. The timing of that play is exceptional. Davis just gets there right on time and puts it in. Now here's Bain. Back to Moran. Pass to Jackson. Fires the three. Rebound by the Lakers. Davis has got four rebounds now. The Lakers have gone three of three in the second half. Here's Reeves, hounded by Moran. Here's Reeves. He's got five. Doesn't go that time. Now Memphis takes it the other way. Here's Bain. Outside Morant, launches it. Vanderbilt pulls it in. They put together a solid lead. And it doesn't seem like they're going to back off. Ooh, when the brow gets up, you better get out the way. There's not many people with that length and that athleticism. Outside Bain. Outside Morant. Brooks outside from deep Bain. James with the rebound. He didn't make them pay for that weak defense, but they just can't rely on him to miss those kind of shots. It's a four-second differential between the shot clock and game clock. Moran against Russell, and he banks in the layup. Russell's got six. Oh, defenses try to get physical with Russell, but he has great body control and composure. Tough to throw him off his game. Boy, oh, clanks that one off the back iron and it falls. And we talk about the importance of versatility. He's really got it all on the offensive end. And James launches it from deep. And so it's Los Angeles leading by 17 at the end of the period. Building this lead up in large part because of how well they're shooting it. All right, we'll get back to the action after this break.
And we reach the fourth quarter in a game that may already be out of hand. Here's Russell. They've got Xavier Tillman. Tyus Jones is out there with Dylan Brooks. And it's Aldama in at the four-man position. That's the lineup in the game for Memphis. Now here's Hachimura. The shot by Russell, no good. Trying to find a spark here. Yes, indeed. A rough stretch offensively. They could really use a basket. Goes back up. And the basket by Aldama. Oh, he'll wear you down with the way he grinds it out on the offensive glass. The Lakers shooting has been great. 57% and finding ways to score consistently. Beasley outside. Pass to Russell. Back to Beasley. Four on the clock. From deep three-point range, it's tipped. Brooks with it. Hachimura covering. And it's Brooks missing. Los Angeles has gone 0 for 2 from outside here in the fourth quarter. Beasley outside. Pass to Schroeder. Beasley outside. Mamba, the pass to Russell. The Lakers got to get one up. Late clock. And again, no good by the Lakers. For Memphis, they've gotten just one shot to fall out of three attempts in the fourth. It looks like it'll be a big win for them here. Time to just cruise to the end of the game and chalk up the victory for the Lakers. They had more assist and shot the ball more efficiently. Those things tend to go hand in hand. And that's so true. Without a doubt, their ball movement was essential to winning this game. And what a huge performance it was for D'Angelo Russell. I think people could learn a lot from how versatile he was in this one. Whatever the situation was, he found a way to be a difference maker. And they'll keep possession. It's rebounded by Memphis. Would you say testing the limits of his range there? Yeah, he might have been feeling himself a little too much on that one. He can hit it, but not consistently. The floater can be a tricky shot, but that's the right choice. And the Lakers call time here. They're leading by 13. There's 42 seconds left in the fourth quarter here. present our new balance player of the game D'Angelo Russell incredible I mean he found his rhythm out there tonight and he's really let his offense come to him he hasn't forced the issue and because of this it's allowed him to get into a comfort zone you can just tell how relieved he is to be playing like this again before this he was weathering a rough patch but now that is all behind him after this performance it's good and the Lakers lead by 15. Yeah, they blocked out the noise, blocked out the distractions, kept on grinding, and this is their reward. Oh, road wins. They're just so sweet. They're just so sweet. Do you know why? Because they are so hard to come by. And even from where we're sitting, you can clearly tell it was a foul. At the line for Memphis, Luke Kinnall. At the line for two. Shooting two. 
That free throw, no good. And he's good on the second. 23 seconds left in the fourth quarter of this one. Here's Harrison. Williams defending. Here's Harrison. And so it's the Lakers easily grabbing this That's one. Boy, a nice win on the road. By the time this one was winding down, this building was stone cold silent. And that's exactly what you got to do. You have to try to take the crowd out of it. All right, now let's check in with Allie LaForce. Allie, what do you have? LeBron, that was an impressive win. What did it take to get it done tonight? It's a really good team that we're playing. They're very resilient, just like us. They play together, they play hard, they play tough. So we had to bring that fight tonight. You brought it, it paid off. Congrats. All right, Allie, thank you. And that about wraps it up. This is Brian Anderson saying thanks for tuning in. So long, everyone.